Oh my god, you're not seriously gonna do this with your Crocs on, right? Hello, and welcome back to my channel. You might remember me from such previous endeavours as making Sarah's entire hallucination gown from the film Labyrinth. Well, I'm here to tell you this week that I am making Jareth's masquerade suit from the film Labyrinth. Yeah! <laughs> to start off with, this week I will be tackling all the undergarments, so the blouse, the pants, the cummerbund, the weird ruffly things he wears around his wrist. So, without any further ado, let's dive on into that. So the first thing we're going to make is the pants, and for that I'm using this simplicity pattern here, and I'm going to be taking the pants pattern here. As for the fabric, I am using a black stretch scuba knit. I started off by making everything exactly how the pattern had written out. So I cut all the pattern pieces out, marked all of my notches, and then sewed the darts together. After sewing the darts together, it was then time to sew the pants themselves together down the front, side, in between seams. You know, there's a lot of seams in them. Even though the scuba knit fabric doesn't fray whatsoever, I decided to finish all of the edges on my overlocker just to give them a nice finished seam. As I'm sure you can tell by now, this is a very repetitive process. It's basically sew the seam, overlock the edges, and repeat. So I just did the first fitting of the pants and they're fractionally too baggy at the moment. The reason that's happened is because I sewed them out of stretch fabric and the pattern calls for a woven fabric. I was considering sewing them a size smaller so that they would stretch to fit like form fitting, but I didn't just in case that there was going to be an issue with the fit. There wasn't! So all I'm going to do now is put it on camera and put some pins down the side to see where I need to take it in, draw it on, and then run it back through the machine. So here you can see just how much I have to take it in for it to become form fitting. What I'm going to do now is just trace this out with some chalk, run it through my normal machine first and then overlock the edges and then repeat on the other side. Here I'm using my hip curve ruler just to tidy up the pin marks that I've put in. And then I sewed directly over that chalk line on my sewing machine. Then I cut away the excess, leaving about a 1.5cm seam allowance, and then ran that through my overlocker to finish off the edge. So I just got done with the second fitting of the pants and they're perfect. They're skin tight, just like they ought to be. Next thing I've got to do is try and figure out a waistband to put along the top here. Not really sure what I'm gonna do there, but... So it turns out the pattern did actually have a waistband in it, so I'm going to be cutting that out and adding it to my one on the dress form here, and then that's the pants done, and I can move on to doing the shirt. Here I have the waistband pinned to the pants and I am pulling the fabric as I sew through the machine using a slight zigzag stitch so that it maintains its elasticity when it's warm. Finally I finish the waistband off by understitching along the top edge. So the pants are all finished and now I'm going to start work on the blouse. For the blouse I'm using this 1980s pattern and this super shiny silky satin. But before I begin, I have to check that all the pattern pieces are there because I did in fact buy this pattern second hand. So, all the pattern pieces are here, which is awesome. However, um, this is the sleeve pattern. And for whatever reason, it's in two pieces, which means they've cut it down the center. So, before I get to cutting this out of my fabric, I have got to stick this bit back together and then I can cut it out. But before I begin that process, I have to iron all of the pattern pieces nice and flat first. Once the sleeve piece was repaired, it was time to cut it all out of the fabric. 
And then some of the pieces like the cuff and collar needed to be cut out of interfacing as well. And then I applied the interfacing to the corresponding pieces using an iron on a low temperature setting so that I didn't actually melt the fabric. <laughs> the pattern pieces have all been cut out and I have applied interfacing to the pieces that need it. So the next step now is to copy all of the notches and markings that are on here and then I can start sewing them together. But I think I'm going to start on that tomorrow because I would have to change all of the threads over on my machines to white and I honestly just cannot be bothered doing that today. I have done enough. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. After changing the threads on my machine over it was time to mark all of the notches and markings onto the pattern pieces. I have just done the stay stitching along the neckline here and now it's time to start following the instructions and putting the blouse together. The first step of the instructions was to cut out these small pieces of interfacing and then iron them onto the centre front here. And then I sewed the centre front seam together once again on my machine first and then finishing the edges on my overlocker. Next I clipped some small triangles at the centre points and then I did a small rolled hem on the edge. Now on to the ruffles. First I sewed the two pieces together and then of course overlocked the edges. A cool thing I just discovered about the edge of the ruffles is that it is literally just finished with an overlocked edge here, which you can see on the reference just here. It's literally an overlocked edge. That makes my job so much easier because I was really not looking forward to trying to do a rolled hem on something with this much of a curve. So let's attach it to the shirt. And here's how the ruffles are looking now that they're basted onto the shirt. I'm so happy with how this is looking. Next up it was time to attach the collar. So I sewed the front and back pieces together. Then I clipped the corners so that they'd sit nice and pointy when they're turned out the right way. Then I basted it into the shirt itself. The collar is on so now I'm just going to put a facing along the inside here. And then the next step will be adding the sleeves and then this is done. So I've got one sleeve on here, I've just got one more to go and I'm going to go do that now. The first thing I've done on the sleeve here is done a stay stitching along this line here and then slashed it and then I will be adding this along the edge here to create a little placket. Then doing some pleats and sewing the two sides together before installing it into the rest of the blouse. The sleeve is sewn together and the edge is finished along that side, the placket's in, but one thing I forgot to mention before I attach it to the rest of the blouse is I've got to put the cuff on the bottom here, so that's what I'm going to do now. I started by folding over one of the edges 1.5cm, folding it down the centre along the fold line and then sewing the cuff down either edge, and then sewing it to the sleeve. And then I sewed it into the blouse itself. Both of the sleeves are now on which is awesome. All I've got left to do is do some hand sewing on the inside of the cuffs here. And then I've got to do the buttonholes and buttons on the sleeves. And then after that I've just got to hem the bottom edge of the shirt itself and then the shirt is actually finished. 
Good morning, it's day three of working on Jareth's costume. I have the shirt completely finished now, buttons and all, and it's looking so cool. Today I'm going to be working on the cummerbund and some little wrist bracelet thingies, I don't know what to call them. They're cuffs? Who knows? <laughs> but that's what we're going to be doing today. For the cummerbund I'm using the reverse side of this upholstery fabric some poly cotton and some interfacing. This is the pattern I'm using and it needs four buttons. First things first, let's cut out all the pieces. With all the pieces cut out, it was then time to apply interfacing to every single piece. So the pieces are now all cut out and now I've got to transfer all the notches and markings. I'm not looking forward to doing the pleating on this one. And then I get to sew it together. After creating the pleats using my iron, I then basted them to help them stay in place while I sewed the rest of it together. Here I am attaching the side panels and then creating the belt loops that go in the back. Before turning the belt loops in the right way, I clip the corners so that they're nice and sharp and pointy when they're turned out. And here I am just placing them onto the front of the cummerbund, putting the back lining piece on and sewing it all together. Now that it's turned in the right way, I'm adding four buttons in the back. And three button holes. Alright, so the cummerbund is done. And now I've just got to do these weird little cuff things. For that I'll be using this lace which comes from my stash and this elastic. Alright, so the plan for the lace here is to attach some elastic along here so that it gathers together and can be worn as a cuff. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sew a gathered stitch along this edge here just to reduce some of the bulk that's in it because at the moment it's very long, too long for the elastic. And then after that I'm going to use a zigzag stitch on my machine to attach the elastic along the gathered edge that we've just done. And then I'm going to overlock this edge and then they're done. Oh actually, I'll have to sew the two sides together, and then they're done. Nothing more. <laughs> and that is how I made the under portions of Jareth's masquerade suit from the film Labyrinth. I'm really stoked with how this is coming together so far. I particularly like that I was able to use an authentic 1980s pattern to make the ridiculous prince-esque blouse that he wears. That was cool. I will be adding a cravat to the blouse, so I'll be making that in a future video. And speaking of future videos, next week I'm going to be tackling the coat portion. So if that interests you, please stick around. I try to upload every Friday. Come back next week. I should hopefully have the coat done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.